had such plans for this world. Our Earth, so mercifully cleansed by the meteor they named Apophis. We had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Green. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses! We take their compounds! We take the arcs! We raise their settlements and townships to the ground! Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing! Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority! Go time, right? Yeah, grab your gear. What is that? I'll secure the door. Was my kill. <laughs> you gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right. Well, let's go fucking get some. That's a glory ribbon. Holy shit! It took his whole head off! Whoa. 
So much for Ranger Jersey. It's not gonna defib out of that. Shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive, messing with ranger gear. Uh, but it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh, yeah! This is even better than I thought! Crowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. <laughs> the meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! That's Jersey's armor! Jersey... They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor, and you're brave enough to do his job! What the fuck is that? Never seen anything so big. Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross. Get down! <laughs> <laughs> I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley has lost it or if it's really true. You know this, though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Stand Someone... down! That's a direct order! Watch out! Ah! Ah! But for you, I'll make an exception for old times, Elwina. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. <laughs> See if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait, wait the fuck! Fuck's sake! Oh, oh, I was conscious! Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So this is it then. This is all that's left? 
Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. It was General Cross. He... He killed her. He killed my mother. I don't know how. But we gotta stop him. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. That the Authority would return. Well, they did. We gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidium. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. <laughs> I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. <laughs> you really are. got something for me in here, Prowley. Unknown intruder. This is Presidio Security Protocol. State your name, rank, and business. Wall Rat Unit, Corporal Walker. I'm here to find information about... Uh, about my... Uh, about Ranger Unit Sergeant Erwina Prowley. Processing. Security protocol override. Walker, if you're seeing this message, it means we've been hit harder than ever before. I'm likely dead, and Vineland is laid to ruin. It also means that you're the only living ranger, and that the authority is back, and they must be stopped. All these years, I kept you away from the ranks of the rangers. As I hoped you would be spared in an attack like this. Likely targeting rangers and elders. You're my hidden weapon. Sorry I kept you in the dark. You now have full access to Vineland's primary arc and the technology inside, the old icebox. Imagine spending hundreds of years in this thing. It was me, your parents, all the originals. Froze up like popsicles. And from here we emerged and kicked the authorities' ass. Inside the Ark is an ID accession distributor, which is my greatest gift to you. A device which augments the nanotracks in your blood and gives you, well, superhuman powers. There's no other way to put it. Enter the Ark and activate it. Now, let's see what kind of surprise you got for me here, Ghost Prowley. She might be dead, but she's still calling the shots. strange hole and hope for the best. Huh. There goes nothing. My arm? Come back to the main hall. I have more information for you. It was weird taking instructions from my dead aunt. You've got your first ID accession. For you, there is more. There are many arcs still out there. Find them. Each arc contains valuable resources that will help your fight against the authority. But you can't fight them alone. You'll need help. If Lily is still alive, she will be invaluable to you. But there are other allies. People you may have only heard about. Around the end of the authority wars, a few of us in the inner circle of the Resistance initiated what came to be known as Project Death. It was designed to put an end to the Authority, permanently. We knew it wasn't likely that they'd just disappear despite their losses. And furthermore, we knew that General Cross was in possession of technology that allowed him something akin to eternal life. Project Dagger was scrapped when Vineland closed its gates to outsiders. 
but a pact of sorts remained between me and the other three original daggers. First, John Marshall of Gunner, a tough, no-nonsense old war horse who led the first fight against the Authority. He understands the importance of technology and spycraft better than anyone. His skills will help keep you off the Authority's radar. Second, Lucem Hagar of Wellspring, daughter of war hero Dan Hagar. She went from guerrilla fighter to mayor of the greatest city in the wasteland. Her access to military grade vehicles will be indispensable. And then there's Dr. Anton Vossier, ex authority scientist turned resistance fighter. He's a genius when it comes to nanotrite technology and mutations. His skills are a cornerstone of the DACA project. You will want to know more down the road. Your Ranger Armor CPU has logs that will be able to answer many of your questions. Good luck out there, Ranger Walker. God damn it. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. Lily, there are three people I need to find. John Marshall, Dr. Kvasir, and Lucem Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Sorry, Lily. But, hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. You're the one that's supposed to stop shit like this! Where were you? You better keep that cac in check. So, what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. <laughs> <laughs> 